told me something we define What a crazy world we live in when it's something we deny it. Awesome stuff guys, thank you very much for for chatting um, I know people don't do interviews no more like this Everything is just audio <laughs> People want to see you. It's guys. all over the place. People want to see you. <laughs> Are you guys holding up? Absolutely. Yeah, oh, very good. Thanks for having good, us. Man. Thank you. Yeah. I know. I know you guys. And Brian, Andrew, are you guys still in Cape Town? Yeah, Cape Town right now. All right. Zinte Joburg. How's how's how's? Yeah, good? it's so cold here, man. It's insane. Yeah. It's a mess. It's, it's also freezing over in Cape Town and it's raining. We even had a few storms the other day, which was quite a nice change of pace. Mm. Oh, wow. It's true. I was checking out the, the yeah. sea today. It was quite like hectic, like out of a movie or something. Yeah. Guys, yeah. that must be scary. But but let's talk about how you guys actually got together. Like who called who? How did this happen? Um, you know what? Actually, if, if I'm not mistaken, and, and Zinclair can correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I've, I've been a big fan for a long time and uh, we had this track, Miracles. Um, and and I and obviously, uh, she just released some Lilo and Go and all of that stuff. I just thought that she gives such a nice, like, flavor to this track. But the original is quite mellow and um, I thought she could really bring that, that energy that it needs. Uh, so I just reached out on Twitter and, um, you know, she pretty much did, did the rest. That was, like, the easy part. So it's really been an, uh, an incredibly simple process. I just can't wait for everyone to, to check it out, yeah. Yeah. What Andrew is not telling you is that he had to reach out to me like a hundred thousand times to remind me like, <laughs> please just work on the remix. I was, I'm I was sure crazy. he was just waiting to swear at me. He was just like, hey man, just checking how far the <laughs> remix is. Hey canceled. man. <laughs> how, how, like, yeah. Was there... Let, let, that be a le- let that be a lesson everyone. Persistence is key. Yes. That's it. Yes. Well, you might just get blocked. You, you never know with the current climate. Also, there is that. There is that. When it comes to, to the track that you guys made, was there a conflict when it came to creativity? Like, because you reached out first and just like, you've got an idea. And then Zinclair comes along and she's like, okay, oh, I hear it this way. Did you guys reach a point where you're just like, okay, I want one thing and she wants another. And how did you guys ease it out? Uh, well, I mean, me personally, I loved it as soon as I heard it. Uh, we didn't actually really do too much bouncing back and forth. Uh, we kind of, yeah. we, we know, we know Zinclair knows what she's doing. So, so once we had it in her hands, we knew that she'd come back with something great. And the, when I got the first draft uh, over WhatsApp, I remember plugging in my AirPods and everything. And I absolutely loved it the first time I heard it. So I knew it just had to come out as soon as possible. Mm. So, so Zinclair, the first time you heard the song, like your immediate reaction? Before you worked um, on- Before I worked on it, I had to listen to it for a long time. It just takes me a while to, to, and, and, and I think the word is not even connect. I just take forever with music. Like I, I need to spend time with the song. I need to uh, go different through different emotions with the song. So this is a song that I was listening to all the time. And I mean, I love the boys. I've been a fan for a long time. At some point, I didn't even know they were in South Africa. I thought they were in international group. Yeah. Um, and so when, the, yeah, so just to get the chance to work with them, I definitely thought I wouldn't pull it off. I won't even lie to you. Uh, but, um, and then I started thinking, okay, I need to think about what it is that is catchy about this song. And I think that made it easier for me to just work on the song. It's an incredible song. It was an incredible song without, me doing anything to it and i feel like we've taken it to i don't know just just giving it a different feel yeah you guys have to like did you guys have to re-record with apple Gule or did you all just run with the vocals as it was with the original version anything new that was added with the vocals? Nothing um, it was it was added. all of the original stem yeah hmm. All right, all right. Oh, no, I thought oh, someone guys, was... <laughs> we thought you guys were carrying on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, I, uh, <laughs> yeah. what I want to know is, like, you know when, when, when you create and it's your, it's your child, how you hear it and experience it is much different or way different to when you finally give it away and say, you know what, we've done everything we can up until a certain point and now the audience is going to receive it a certain way. When you guys were creating it, 
Is it the same way that people are receiving it? People haven't heard it. Yeah, no, it only drops today. It only drops today. But yes. now that you yes. gone, now that you can't stop the train, is there anything we just like I shoulda, woulda, coulda, or are you happy with what you guys have created? I'm I'm personally very very happy and I mean you know we I mean I personally played it to you know a few of my close friends who I whose ears I trust before before we actually decided to put it out there and the feedback was was really great you know I've got a nice uh, circle of people who are very honest about how they feel about the music they loved it as much as I did and so for me there was there was no going back there's nothing I want to change I'm just really excited for people to hear it and I uh, just play it everywhere mm. Sounds cool. I mean, now that you asked the question, I didn't even realize. Like when the boys sent the the song to me, I just I, I mean they're on the song, which is like their influence, but the rest was just up to me to make it my own. Mm. And I, I, I didn't even ask if they wanted like a house version. I just assumed. <laughs> <laughs> and you were dead on. Yeah. To do it. <laughs> and you're still right. <laughs> yeah. 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 And also, I mean, when I make music, I think of my audience. I think I think of myself, the music that I'm going to enjoy. Um, and uh, the song, I mean, I've played it for a lot of people, I've played it so many times, and everyone that I've played it for really is just loved the song. It's yeah. so amazing. I feel like it's such an incredible song. I just feel like it came together so nicely. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that it sounds so, not because the boys, are, just because they are such, <laughs> they've got such a distinct sound, Yeah. and I just didn't know how I'd bring it up across to house music, mm. and I'm glad it worked out. Yeah, yeah. yeah me too. If you guys I agree, to I story, agree. If you guys had to break down the story behind Miracles, because that's the name of the song, um, what what's the true essence of the song? What is it truly about for someone who's about to hear it for the first time? Uh, it, it's a very good question. I think everyone can sort of take their their own uh, sort of perspective on it. But um, but Apple Gula did a lot of the writing, and then we sort of helped out here and there. And so I think. Um, from his perspective, certainly when when he was telling us about it, it was it was exactly as it sounds, you know, like like talking about someone that uh, that sort of has a miraculous effect on your life, and and all of us had know that to some extent, but I think it, it translates a lot wider, um, you know. I think it's it's kind of relevant to, to everyone. Everyone's a sort of miracle in their own right, um, and especially right now, you know, where where the world's at and everything that's going on, I think it's a great uh, positive message to get out there. So. Um, yeah, let's spread it. <laughs> awesome stuff, man. Super excited about this. Uh, was it a challenge though? Hearing, like, is it going to be a challenge performing a song as as guys who, I've never seen you guys perform a house song, so. No, you know, you know, I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually happy you asked that question because, you know, we've, we've done a few tracks that I would like to at least think are, are house inspired and uh, yeah. and in our live sets um, a lot of the times we'll mix in um, other people's tracks in with our own tracks and sort of do a medley um, and a lot of times we are playing the house so I think a lot of people who came to a lot of the live shows might have known that but this is definitely the first time that I think we've really stepped um, fully into that sound um, and I love it I think it sounds so good you know I'm a huge fan of house music so I'm glad it translated well and I think you can probably definitely be expecting some more in that in that lane i think because um i really i i love how it turned out with with all the cross collaborating that's happening uh I've, I've realized that i think as artists we're always sensitive but some artists are very tone deaf and they don't want to be aware so you know how certain genres belong to a particular racial group so you sitting here as a as a, a white musician Crossing over into a house that some people claim is as a black sound, gom that is a black genre. How do you work until you get to a point where you're just like, I'm not sure if I'm is it not disrespecting or appropriating. Like, because the future is us cross collaborating. We're going to dabble in different cultures, languages, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you yeah. stand there. How do you do what you do? Experiment the way you experiment, and then say, okay, now I'm going too far. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm speaking for both of us here, but I, but I don't think that, that we really think about it like that too much. Um, you know, if, if, if anybody had an issue or thought that we were kind of going too much one way or I guess um, uh, swagger jacking as they call it, anything like that, then, I'm, then you know, everyone's, everyone's allowed to their, to their opinion. But certainly I don't think we ever think about it that way. Um, for us, it's about how the music comes out, it's about how people respond to that. Um, so if people respond positively, that's great. If they don't enjoy it or they think 
anything of it, you know, they're absolutely entitled to that opinion. But uh, at the end of the day, we're musicians and we're here to make what we love. Yeah. yeah. Zintle, are you possibly thinking of a follow-up single? Ubakai, <laughs> some venek nyana. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying, are you possibly exploring a follow-up single? Ubakai, I'm a venek lines nyana. You know? Me? Yeah. Would you, would you give them a song to do in venek? Yes. No, 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 not in the neck. <laughs> you know, we so, could try you know, it. I don't know how it sounds. <laughs> no, 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 not in the no. neck. I mean, I, I feel like I'm such a big fan of how they sound. Like, I wouldn't want them to change it. Yeah. Um, and I feel like even though uh, someone might feel like this is a Lock and Bill song, like if you listen to this song as a house music song, it's a nice crossover song like you can jump to it as dj isn't you can jump to it as anyone really and that's the idea that i was going for to just find like a sound that could cross over and, and luckily the boys you know were carrying the song with the vocals so mm-hmm. i feel like we've got a nice song that could cater for literally like everyone who loves music and also i'm a very selfish uh musician like i just make music that i like if you like it Great. If you don't, well, I'll try again next time. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So, as Lock and Roll, is this a sound we can expect more with the forthcoming EP that's going to drop? Mm-hmm. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily say uh, right now with the album that we're currently working on, but it is it is a sound that, that we work into our music. Um, like Brian said, you know, we we do sort of. Uh, get influence and inspiration from a lot of these sounds um but but this is why we had to get zinkle involved with this one because she's she's the queen and knows knows what it is you know exactly <laughs> and then zinkle on your side you're on fire um lilo you got another single that's bumping right now colors also had an amazing run now you got this single that you're dropping with the boys you know the remix to miracles what other sounds can we expect as we approach summer hopefully we'll be out of this lockdown um you know what i just i think i'm just going through a phase where i'm like finding my favorite artists and 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 approaching them uh to see if they'll work with me because i'm usually just scared of approaching people um there's possibly an amifaku remix that i'm going to do because they've asked me and i have no idea how i'm going to pull that off because i'm such a fan um makati reached out to say can we do something together um and they i mean obviously the people that i want to work with and i'm supposed to put out an album this year i haven't put out an album in 11 years yeah so that's going to be interesting <laughs> but i'm really just working on music i think i'm just enjoying this time to just like be in studio and create stuff and lock and bill owes me uh, a track now so <laughs> yeah <Yay! Exactly. laughs> i got you i got you <laughs> awesome stuff man thank you very much guys for for chatting to us we can't wait to show you guys some love here as why and as a best drive and just keep keep collaborating yeah. this is amazing this is yeah. great definitely uh, thanks so much for having us thank you cool stuff cheers good night guys